Hey guys, Fires51 here, and I'm going to be doing a uh, video response to Cobra DVS request for a uh, show them your game room. Uh, so, I'm going to show you what kind of game room I got down here right now, and uh, check it out. So, as you can kind of see, we're in the basement here. And over here, we have the one of uh, six, no, seven speakers. Um, I have a 7.1 surround sound. Uh, speaker setup and it's uh, made by Polk Audio. Uh, the speakers, the subwoofer is not by uh, uh, Polk, but uh, we'll get to that later. First off, we got my Atari 2600, which I usually keep in there, but I'm playing it right now. And we got uh, some Nintendo systems right there, some more Nintendo systems, and then up here I keep my Sega. Usually I keep my Genesis right here, but I got that out right now. And then I have my uh, Dreamcast, PlayStation. PlayStation 2. And then right here we have my uh, 50 inch plasma TV made by Panasonic. And there's a center speaker. And on the bottom there I have uh, my PlayStation 3 and my Onkyo uh, AV uh, uh, station. It's a uh, 600 series. It came out last year. I don't know much more than that about it. I forget the, the actual number for it. Then right here we have my uh, DVD or uh, my uh, input recorder, you know, DVD recorder. Um, I haven't used that yet, but uh, I bought that when I was in Iraq for my parents to uh, record uh, uh, Colbert Report. I had them record on that and uh, sent it over to me in Iraq on a DVD because I like the show a lot. And there's my Genesis. And here's a whole bunch of Xbox games I just got stacked up. And the Xbox is actually in a box with a whole bunch of uh, controllers and a spare Genesis. I got some plug and plays in there too. This is my uh, Sega Saturn uh, from Japan. That actually has all the Japan games in there too. You see? I got this at a garage sale, so unfortunately I can't find another one of these cases because it's this is really sweet to have it in. And back there is actually my PS3 case and some Atari controllers, a bunch of wires. And uh, I got some boxes here. Those boxes just have uh, extra controllers and a Genesis in it. Then we got my gaming strategy guides right there. Over here we got my box Genesis collection. It's not too big, but I just started collecting pretty much like two months ago. So it gave me a little bit of a break here. And... Uh, I'm going to point out some games. These are modern games, but Priny, Can I Really Be the Hero? If you like old school, like, uh, side-scroller games, platformers, you'll really like this. Especially if you like anime, because there's, like, uh, some anime uh, or Japanese uh, references in there, cultural references. So, but uh, you can still enjoy it if you're not into uh, anime and manga or Japan. Uh, Valkyrie Chronicles. If you never heard of this game... Go do yourself a favor right now and look for a video review of this, like um, GameStop, not GameSpot, uh, GameTrailers.com. Check it out. This is a very, very good game to play. Yeah, that's all. And then up here we have my uh, Genesis here. That's actually my brother's Genesis box. He had a uh, Genesis when I was growing up, and he sold his Genesis, but he kept the box and put uh, baseball cards inside of it. So I took the baseball cards off and dusted it off because it was in the attic and brought it down here. Then I'm going to show you my movie collection because I'm, I'm big into movies. So i got Mel Books. i got a nice little collection of Blu-rays right here. Um, I don't collect a whole bunch of Blu-rays, just movies that are really, really good. Or just look really fantastic on a high definition screen or have uh, you know, uh, great sound quality like, um, where is it at? Hellboy 2. Hellboy 2 is one of the few movies that actually uses a 7.1 surround track, uh, surround sound, uh, sound track. The rest is usually 5.0, but I have a 7.1 surround sound set up, so eventually they're going to move to that. And then I got Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 right here. This is my favorite two games. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of got a little bit of the, above the curve with uh, the audio setup. Sounds awesome, by the way. And uh, got some more uh, Xbox games. Uh, my only Nintendo box game, and my only 32X game. And then I got some uh, Genesis box games there. There's a couple Nintendos. And there's my Sega Saturn collection. Let me get this uh, tripod out of the way. And then a couple uh, N64, 
than my Nintendo collection. Which is not too impressive. That's the only thing that I had. Besides the Game Gear, all my handhelds were pretty much upstairs. But Game Gear and Nintendo is the only thing I actually had uh, when I started my collection. Because those are the only systems I owned. Besides the PS3. Retro games. Consoles I only owned before I started uh, collecting games. So. Those are my... 2600 is actually my uh, most popular uh, games I own right now. There's a couple uh, Super Nintendo games there. They're so expensive, I just don't, I don't buy them. I gotta find them real cheap. And there's my uh, manuals for my 2600. There's some more 2600 games there. And then I got this little DVD rack here. Or a CD rack here I bought for uh, Goodwill about... I think for a dollar. And it holds my uh, dual case... Uh, PlayStation 1 games. I basically take wire cutters and I cut off every other one when I get a game so I can actually put them in there. And uh, speaking of Goodwill, I actually bought this bookcase from Goodwill too. I got it for like $12. It's it's awesome. It's really perfect for uh, storing video games. Then I have this uh, CD rack here too. Got it for Goodwill for like $4. And uh, on one side I keep all my PlayStation 1 games. As you can see I don't have too many. And then on the other side, I keep my uh, Dreamcast games. So I got plenty of room to grow here. I'm not sure if I'm going to find that many Genesis games, but I'm pretty sure I can find a lot of PlayStation 1 games. So there's the uh, first surround sound speaker, and that's my subwoofer right there. It's made by uh, Hisu, it's like HSU. It's actually a really good uh, subwoofer brand. So if you guys are looking at getting a subwoofer, check that out. And this just has a whole bunch of uh, DVD uh, rips from like ha uh, from Haji when I was in Iraq and uh, backup discs from CDs. I think we got a fridge down here too to drink some beers. And I'm not a Keisto fan. That is all my dad. My dad acts like he's in college. He's like 65 years old. But uh, as you can see, he can keep his uh, Keystones in there. And I got bottle beers. So those are mine. I actually drink the high quality stuff here. You know. I drink IPAs, and my, uh, I'll give a shout out to this company right here. It's uh, Christian Morline. It's a Cincinnati uh, brand, and OTR is my favorite one of them, which is a uh, kind of an IPA. So if you ever get a chance, try them out. And of course, I have a whole bunch of DVDs here. It's my collection I've been starting since God, I don't know how many years. I keep them all in this uh, binder most of the time, though. That took the star rack, so I haven't gotten it out and taken them all out yet. Of course, there's other speaker. My alma mater right here, Ohio State. This is actually my box for my uh, actual uh, TV when I move out. There's my other surround sound, and uh, finally the last one. And uh, None of the stairs takes out all my fucking army gear. But the last piece I gotta tell you about is actually this right here. It's in the center of the room. And it looks like a big ass bean bay, right? And it's 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 got a nice claw to it. It's really comfortable. And it's made out, it's got memory foam inside of it, like little bits of memory foam. So it's extremely comfortable and it's made by Love Sack. Like that's the company name, Love Sack. And this is actually the Super Sack uh, version of their uh, bean bags, I guess you can say. Um, check it out guys I mean it's really expensive but I got mine on uh, overstock.com for uh, half off so that's why I bought it and uh, one last little bit about my gaming room is this I know it's like computer and I'm not I don't play games on this but this is why I put my uh, walkthroughs on my online walkthroughs when I play uh, PlayStation 3 games I'm right here to uh, look off of in case I get in trouble or I'm trying to get a uh, 